Try Cora's cult favorite period products without joining a cult. Cora offers modern period products like whisper thin pads and liners with a breathable cotton top sheet and tampons made with 100% organic cotton. And with a full range of absorbencies, Cora's got you covered from heavy flow to barely there days. Try Cora today for a more comfortable period, clean and simple. Find Cora nationwide at Target, CVS, and online at C-O-R-A dot L-I-F-E. We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast, but the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just two seventy nine. dollars Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. The Air Adventures of Biggles. After their second frightening night on the mountainside, Pat and Algy are eager to rejoin their friends. When they see the mosquito approaching, they don't hesitate to light a fire as a signal. A long column of smoke coils to the sky and is seen by Biggles. He drops a message telling Pat and Algy where the bamboo narrows some miles to the south and arranges to meet them there. As the castaway set off, they feel much more cheerful. Rescue at last is close. But suddenly, Pat pulls Algy back from sight. Two great natives push their way through the bamboo. They, too, have seen the smoke. Set a Zulu's men. They're making for the fire. They're looking for us. We shouldn't have lit the fire. Oh, don't worry about it now. We didn't know they were about. What do you think they'll do, Algy? Keep on looking for us. They'll go to the fire. When they find we've gone, they'll follow our trail. Mm, that won't be very difficult. We push th- straight through the bushes. Yes, I know. Perhaps... There's a ledge of rock behind us. Think you can climb up there? I think so. Why? It seems to stretch a fair way. Maybe a shelf running the full width of the mountain. If we walk along rock, we won't leave any tracks. And we'll throw the natives off our trail. Hurry, Algy. Let's climb up there. Uh, careful. Don't break any bushes or make it obvious we've headed this way. We'll let them follow the trail to here, and then wonder where the dickens we've gone. The ground's quite hard, but there are some dead leaves lying about. Watch those. And don't dislodge any stones. They'll look for that. We can climb up from here, Algy. I'll go first and give you a hand. Yeah. Right out. Take my hand, but try not to scrape your shoes against the rock. It may leave a mark. I'll watch it. Well, up you come. <laughs> <laughs> Are you right now? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I want to get away from here as quickly as I can. The natives must be close. We'll be quick, but be careful at the same time, Pat. Every time you put your foot down, see that it leaves no mark. That's the spot down there, isn't it, old trout? Yes, but we shan't put down yet. Why not? No need to waffle about in the jolly old ozone now that we've found the sausages, is there? I want to see they don't come to any harm. We lissies can't see them at all now. They sort of ooze into the old jungle, and that was that. They're down near the edge of the forest somewhere. But as we swung away from them, I thought I saw some movement near the bamboo. I didn't see anything. Haven't seen a living belly sausage apart from Pat and Algy all morning. And apart from old Ginge burbling up to the Tonga, of course. When I looked back, I couldn't see anything myself. But I don't like the idea of anyone else being down there. Well, we Lissy shouldn't worry about it, uh, were we you, old Bean? I mean to say the jolly old forest is positively teeming with wildlife and all that sort of nonsense. What you saw was probably a giggling gazelle gurgling through the grass. <laughs> it could have been an animal of some sort. But we'll scout around for an hour or so just the same. It'll take them well over an hour to reach the rendezvous. Yes, by Jove, it will. You know... 
Oh, Ginge might burble along before the old trouts turn up after all. Yes, he might. Depends what happens at Latonga. It's our job to pull Pat and Algy out of their strife. Latonga's Ginger's main concern. <laughs> Headman, Latonga. Boy say Buana wants headman. Uh, yes, I do. I've come to Latonga to meet the Maasai, Michu. You know Michu? Do you know Michu? Yes, Buana. No, Michu. Well, where is he? Not know. But you knew he was in the district, didn't you? Come on, answer me. Yes, Buana. Well, where is he now? If you knew he'd arrived here a couple of days ago, you, you must know what happened to him. No, not no. And now, don't be ridiculous. It isn't every day of the week a Maasai warrior lands here in a plane. I'll bet every native of your village was out to see. We see Monsieur come. Well, then what did he do after that? He isn't the type to disappear. He, he stay one night. Then go. Go? Where? Not know. Ah, oh, don't start that business again. You fellows know everything that's going on for hundreds of miles around your kraals. Didn't he say where he was going? No, Buana. Did any of your men follow him? No, not follow. All right, then. You'll at least be able to guess what he was up to. Where do you think he went? Maybe hunt animals. Maybe go back to own car. Me not know. Oh, well, if that's all you'll say, I suppose I'll have to accept it. Uh, Want to go now? Fly away like he come. Hmm? You seem very keen for me to go. Want to go? Want to stay? Me happy? I think Buana will stay for a while. And I want you to do something for me. Yes, Buana? Ask your villagers if they have any idea where Michu went. If anyone knows anything, send him over to me. I'll be in the white man's rest hut by the airstrip. Yes, Buana. And don't try any funny business. Michu's a friend of mine. I won't be pleased if anything's happened to him. Clear, old trout. No stones or gullies or anything like that. But um, when you put down, you'll be most awfully careful to dodge that hill in front, won't you? I'll try, Bertie. I mean to say, we lissies have a profound belly dislike for scabbing our noses on hills when we put down in kites. <laughs> we Bigglesworths shall do our best to cause you no discomfort. I shouldn't worry. Plenty of flat ground. We'll have stopped before we reach the hill. Now hold on to your teeth. This will do. Hop out and we'll survey the ground. Why, oh, say, aren't you going to turn around? You won't take off up the side of that belly hill, you know. Oh, forget about the darn hill. I'll turn the kite when Pat and Algy are safely aboard and we're ready to go. Open the hatch. Well, no need to be terse, old bean. I always think you're worse when you're terse. We'll climb the hill, Bertie. From the top of it, we'll have a good view across the bamboo. We'll be able to see when Pat and Algy are coming. We'll hold it here for a moment, Pat. 
If we push through the bushes a bit, we should be able to see down to the bamboo. Do you think we've come three miles? Oh, it feels like 30, but I'd say we're about right. We'll have a squint anyway. Yes. Yes, there's the narrow strip below us. And there's Biggles. I think it's Biggles. There are two of them on that small hill across the other side. The big bloke's Biggles and Bertie. It's Bertie. I saw his monocle flash in the sun. We're right, Algy. It's all over. We can almost shout to them from here. Don't you try. I think we tossed those natives, but we aren't giving any more signals. Well, there's no need now. We simply push through the bamboo and there we are. Then let's start pushing. I've taken a dislike to this forest and I want to get out of it. Wait, Elsie. I'm more tired than I thought. I'll have to rest. Uh, yes, I need to rest myself. This confounded swamp's heavy going. It's much worse than higher up. I feel as if I'll sink to my knees at any moment. Oh, don't do that. We don't want to be bogged down at this stage. Strange that we haven't come across the tunnel yet. We must be close to it. And surely the ground will be firmer there. With all the cattle around. Elgie. Quiet, Pat. We are close to the tunnel. Yes. That sounded like someone calling quietly. You think they've seen us? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. Be careful, Algie. Don't let them hear you. I won't make much noise. Yes. Drop that gear and come back to the forest. Why? Can't we get through? It isn't that. The gang's in there. The black elephant's with them. Have they seen us? No, but they've seen Biggles and Bertie. They're lining up against the other side of the bamboo now. They're going to attack. Biggles and Bertie have no suspicion that the black elephant is near. Will they be overpowered? How can their friends help them? Don't miss the thrills in the next stirring chapter of The Air Adventures of Biggles. <laughs> Before Shopify, were you wondering, where are my sales at? Now you're selling with Shopify, the global commerce platform supercharging your selling. You have no problem selling online, in person, on social media, and beyond. Gary, easy on the cha-ching. <clears throat> oh, sorry, but my Shopify sales are through the roof. Start selling with Shopify today and discover how millions of businesses around the world use Shopify to ignite their selling. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash listen. Shopify.com slash listen. Wings are here. Oh, from... No, I'd never order from... anymore. Popeye's now has wings in five flavors. Ghost pepper, roasted garlic parmesan, sweet and spicy, signature hot, and honey barbecue. Marinated in Louisiana spices, hand-battered and flipped. Makes no sense they're five ninety nine for six pieces. Taste them. Mmm, crunchy outside. And juicy inside. Consider me a... convert. That's the most romantic thing you've said to me all month. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Price may vary.